it was funny and it was scary and I'm not invited to play leading ladies like that, especially not ones that have senses of humor. And so it was, it was very flattering to me to be asked to participate in this legacy that had been part of my childhood. I mean, I have flashes of images from that original movie, even though I saw it when I was really young. And we all do, you know, it's so much a part of the zeitgeist. So it felt very surreal that it was very apparent this movie was about to get made and uh, that I would be in it. It was really wild. Imagination is my job. I have to bring my imagination to the table. But to have all those practical effects around you is like a playground. And when you're working in CGI, and I've done it, it's a really lonely, empty place. And Jason has really filled in the world for us with this incredible technology that's available now. So you have these, instead of having a green screen, you have these amazing, you know, laser cut foam sculptures that we're, we're playing inside of that feel, that look really real. And it's just, it's just really helpful. And it just feels like another time. And I didn't get to make movies 30 years ago. So it's a really, um, it's a really wonderful, nostalgic invitation for me as an actor to get to play inside of those films that I watched when I was a kid. Ghostbusters is always gonna be a part of us. And it feels pretty special and still hasn't really sunk in that now I'm a really big part of it too. And it's such a, it's such a fun um, experience for my family and friends to see me suddenly leap into the screen of this movie we all grew up with. It's just one of the most special things I've ever had the, the opportunity to do. He was really excited about the script, obviously and super secretive about it. And our initial conversations were all about his, how daunted he felt about taking it on. So I wasn't sure who to expect when we showed up on set, knowing that there's a, there are decades of relationships that are being brought together to make this happen, including his father being right there on set. And what was, what was really gratifying to see was that Ivan and Jason have a very loving and respectful relationship. And so I've really enjoyed um, watching Jason turn to Ivan and defer to him about something. And also watching him say, I'm not doing that. <laughs> so very much asserting hi himself as the director and Ivan taking that, of course, um, with great good humor. Paul is the perfect choice for this film. He's, um, he's got kids of his own. So I think like me, he grew up with Ghostbusters and knows it and loves it and would never say no to the opportunity to be part of it. And was almost like, his character Gruberson is a lot like Logan. They're, they're uh, technology enthusiasts and scientists and they get super excited about everything. And um, Paul just has a really natural charisma and a really easy sense of humor. And uh, he's, uh, <sighs> He's just as nice and great as everybody says. I mean, there are probably a hundred EPKs all about Paul Rudd, the hagiography of Paul Rudd. It's all true. He's a delightful human being. He's so nice. He's, he's really funny. He, he does a scene with you. I mean, the scene's definitely happening between two people. And um, it was just really easy to fall in love with him.